Hi everyone, Mark here with Couchbase. And if you're affected by the recent deprecation of MongoDB's mobile support, you're in luck because today we'll be talking about a better alternative to MongoDB Atlas Device Sync, and that's Couchbase Mobile. Um, but as we know, adopting a new database for mobile apps means that there is a migration required. And that's where our longstanding trusted partner, Molo17, can really help with what is arguably one of the most important parts of the process, and that's data migration. Joining me today, um, I'd like to welcome the CEO and founder of Molo17 and a great friend to Couchbase, Daniele Angeli. Daniele, thanks for being here. Ciao, Mark. Ciao. So great being here. Thanks for having me and looking forward for uh, providing some really nice insights and tips for uh, how to migrate uh, to Couchbase for those who have been affected uh, to that deprecation. Indeed, indeed. We've got a, a great program today. Um, we're going to cover the following. First, we'll review kind of the state of things um, with regard to MongoDB's mobile support. Um, then I'll uh, take the microphone, as they say, I'll dive into Couchbase Mobile and I'll cover uh, our features. Uh, I'll go through some customer use cases at a high level. And uh, then we'll turn it over to Daniele, who's going to cover Molo 17 Glue Sync. And that's a data migration conduit that really makes migrations just so much easier. Um, and he'll wrap up with a high level glance at the migration steps. And uh, we'll go through some helpful resources. And uh, um, that'll be our event for today. So first, um, MongoDB has announced the deprecation of its mobile capabilities. And these are formerly known as, uh, of course, Realm. Um, and namely, those uh, products in the stack are Atlas Edge Server, Atlas Device Sync, and Atlas Device SDKs. And this deprecation is really raising concerns for developers out there who've been relying on MongoDB's mobile tools because now they're forced to seek new solutions and rework their existing projects, as well as redesign their longer term development plans. So we're here to suggest that if you have to move uh, your mobile apps off of MongoDB, you should move to a, a complete end-to-end -end database platform with a proven track record of uh, over 10 years of mobile support. And that's Couchbase Mobile. So before we get into the details of Couchbase Mobile and its features, um, let's first go over a few similarities and differences between our mobile support and MongoDB's mobile support. And first off, both solutions offer a NoSQL database backend. Um, they both offer embedded persistence for mobile apps and data synchronization. But that's kind of where the similarities end. Um, while there are many differences between the two platforms, we just wanted to really highlight some of the major ones here. So first on database uh, schema flexibility. Um, Atlas Device Sync is object oriented, which has its advantages, but also requires a schema to model relationships. And this increases the complexity of your applications. Um, Caltrace Mobile is schemaless. It's a classic JSON document database, which makes it flexible. So doing things like adding new fields and indexes doesn't disrupt any rigid schema. And this makes upgrades faster, easier, and more efficient. On uh, SQL support, MongoDB's embedded database requires a proprietary API and syntax that doesn't support joins, doesn't support aggregations. Developers have to work around these limitations. Well, Couchbase Mobile uh, supports SQL from cloud uh, to edge and including on device. And this means you can use the same queries across the app ecosystems. Um, and it makes Couchbase really easy for developers um, to adopt. And on uh, vector search, right, this uh, uh, capability that's becoming required for AI-based features and applications, MongoDB only supports vector search in Atlas out on the cloud. And this makes it dependent on internet access to Atlas in order for it to work. And that means if there's no internet, there's no vector search. And uh, Couchbase Mobile conversely supports vector search both in the cloud and um, in Couchbase Lite running on device. And that enables offline first uh, edge AI features. Um, and uh, this also makes the adoption of Couchbase Mobile a great way to future-proof your apps and add innovative AI features. And then finally on sync support, again, we're just covering the, the, the high level uh, differences. MongoDB's solution does provide synchronization, but it doesn't support peer-to-peer -peer sync. 
This means it can't sync without an internet connection to Atlas. Um, and it doesn't support custom conflict resolvers. Well, at the same time, Couchbase Mobile does provide peer-to-peer -peer sync. This means data sync can happen via peer-to-peer -peer between local devices without needing an internet connection. And we allow customers to create their own custom conflict resolution policies. And that means we can support more edge use cases. So now I'll take a bit of a step back and dive into the broader spectrum of Couchbase. Our, our mobile capabilities are, of course, a specialty, but um, that's only part of our broader enterprise capabilities. Um, so that's where the story begins. Couchbase is a cloud native, NoSQL database that's used to power gigantic applications like those at LinkedIn, PepsiCo, Tesco, Comcast, Amadeus, and more. You know, big household names that um, use us to power their critical applications. And that's because Couchbase is so versatile and powerful. It's a combination of database capabilities, um, which is why we call it multi-purpose. Um, first, it's an in-memory KV store, and that's for hyper-fast responsiveness. And uh, combined with that, the distributed storage of JSON document-based data, and that's for scale, resilience, and development flexibility. And then on top of this, we add more data access patterns, right? Support for vector search that I talked about, full text search, eventing, columnar analytics, we're container friendly, and we provide that mobile database and synchronization. And these are all data access patterns that customers no longer have to bolt together from a bunch of different technologies. They get it all from one platform. And Couchbase supports relational constructs such as SQL. Um, and ACID transactions. These are mainstays of relational databases, not typically found in document databases, but we support them natively. And so developers can use their existing SQL skills, adopt Couchbase more quickly. And customers can deploy and use um, Couchbase either uh, using our hosted and managed database as a service that's called Capella, and or you can manage your own Couchbase deployments in the cloud or on premises. And, um, you can even combine the two models for hybrid deployments. And overall, this represents Couchbase in a nutshell. So we support mobile and IoT applications with Couchbase Mobile. And um, this is a combination of product capabilities. The stack's made up of three foundational components. First, Couchbase Server. And this is the flagship distributed NoSQL document database that I just talked about. Um, and then we also have Couchbase Lite, and this is the embedded version of Couchbase for mobile and custom embedded devices. And in between, um, Sync Gateway um, is responsible for secure data synchronization, routing, and access control between mobile clients and server tiers. So these are the three pieces, essentially, that facilitate that data synchronization and on-device data processing. And uh, these can be deployed two ways, right? Fully managed with Couchbase Capella or self-managed where customers would install Couchbase themselves on public or private clouds or on a cloud edge service or on-prem. Couchbase Lite, um, I think, is one of the most full-featured developer-friendly NoSQL embedded databases on the market. Um, we provide native support for iOS, Android, and Windows platforms. Um, customers build desktop and web server apps, leveraging .NET and Java. And Couchbase Lite also provides a C API that allows developers to build applications in C that run on nearly any embedded IoT platform. So think um, single board resource constrained um, platforms like Raspberry Pi or Arduino, these type of uh, IoT devices. And with vector searching Couchbase Lite, you can lay the foundation for AI at the edge because vector search enables semantic search um, and RAG applications at the edge where there's no dependencies on the internet. And so the, with this support, you can really future-proof your infrastructure for evolving to AI-powered features in your mobile apps. Um, Couchbase Lite allows our customers to develop faster because of that JSON flexibility, simple to use APIs for database CRUD operations, SQL support, and that comprehensive platform and language support. And because these three pieces can be um, essentially um, put together to fit any edge architecture, we, we really fit into edge computing effortlessly. 
because we can run and sync data anywhere in the cloud, at the edge, on premises, within a 5G network, even directly on edge devices, and seamlessly synchronize data between and within the layers, allowing applications to store and process data right there at the, at the point of interaction without relying on a central cloud data center. And with uh, vector search and built-in features for calling machine learning models in the cloud and at the edge on device, you can power AI and apps without internet dependencies. And this applies to on-device processing as well, where um, the emerging lightweight AI models can be leveraged. These fundamental capabilities allow us to support any complex edge architecture to meet any speed, availability, or security requirement that our customers may have. We have a lot of noteworthy customers using um, Couchbase Mobile. Some are household names, others are small startups, but every one of them has uh, specific requirements for high scale offline first mobile applications. PepsiCo, they needed an offline first sync solution for its order to cash uh, mobile application. It's used by 35,000 sales reps and delivery drivers all over the US and Canada. And the embedded database and cloud to edge sync provided by uh, Couchbase Mobile allows them to conduct business anywhere without regard for internet. And when they're able, they can sync behind the scenes to the cloud for consistency and a consolidated view of activity across the user ecosystem. Um, Emirates Airlines, uh, their flight staff use handheld tablet devices with Couchbase Lite embedded in the application. And it allows them to access and update passenger information at all times, including while in flight at 35,000 feet and completely disconnected from the internet. And peer-to-peer -peer sync lets them synchronize data across the plane. As attendants take orders, they're synced, for, for instance, directly to the galley for immediate preparation. And sync means meals and duty-free items are never oversold. Uh, Lodum Games, they embed Couchbase to uh, their most popular game title, uh, to date, uh, to provide that 100% uptime for its millions of, of gamers all over the world. And it's paying off. It's uh, uh, Their games are wildly successful. They have over 800 million downloads of their game, Four Picks, One Word, and, uh, and counting. And it's all managed through uh, Couchbase Capella app services. And then finally, I'll touch on um, Groundhog. They provide solutions for mining and oil companies. And they guarantee speedy and reliable apps that operate all the time, even when they're thousands of feet underground, thanks to Couchbase Mobile. So these are just some of the customer cases that prove out our ability to support massive deployments of offline first mobile applications. So we could spend really um, hours on reasons moving to Couchbase is the best alternative to MongoDB for mobile applications. Uh, but the most important are um, essentially these, that we are a fully integrated end-to-end -end mobile database platform. You know, don't bolt on some third-party partner to Atlas. Uh, move to a platform that's end-to-end -end and designed for both enterprise and mobile applications. Um, Future-proof your apps with built-in vector search that runs even on device at the edge. Leverage deployment options that can cover on-device, on-prem, and in the cloud with as many layers as you need for speed, availability, or security requirements. Build apps for your platform of choice and leverage comprehensive sync capabilities that work both from cloud to edge and between devices via peer-to-peer -peer, with the ability to customize conflict resolution policies. And finally, developers can leverage SQL across the entirety of their app ecosystem, making adoption of Couchbase really quick and really easy. We've been uh, doing mobile since 2014. Mobile's our specialty. Um, it's a strategic capability for Couchbase, and we intend to continue evolving um, these capabilities into the future. So looking at the key pieces of any migration, keep in mind, this is not a prescriptive guide per se, just a high level look at the three major parts of the process. So we must acknowledge that the details can be really vast and there are many junctures that can present some challenges. So the first step is in really taking great care to plan and scope the effort. This can save you a lot of time fixing things downstream. So don't underestimate the importance of discovery, scoping, and planning at the start of any effort. Another big piece, of course, is converting your applications 
to use Couchbase Lite instead of Atlas device SDKs. Couchbase engineers are currently uh, working on an SDK comparison and associated tutorial. We'll link those in the description below when they're available. Um, and look for another on-demand uh, webinar uh, for those assets coming soon. And then, um, of course, since data is the lifeblood for any application, um, we have what may be arguably the most important part of the effort, and that's moving data from Mongo to Couchbase. And this part is so important because for larger apps, it's not a one-time process, right? It takes iteration and testing, and so needs an easy to set up and manage conduit between the two databases. So rather than spend time and resources cobbling together your own data migration solution, which can take time and be fraught with bugs and issues, you really need an easier and more repeatable way to migrate that data. So how can you do that? Well, with Molo 17. So I'd like to now turn things over to Daniele to talk about Molo 17 GlueSync. Daniele? Thank you so much, Mark. Let's move forward. And um, I'd like to begin setting a couple of words of context here. Uh, you introduced us to so many really interesting topics on you know, what we're going to find there into Couchbase compared to what we have currently on Realm, MongoDB. But we're, we're talking about uh, uh, li live apps that are in production, right? So user may are facing uh, the, the common issue. What should I do? Uh, the app is live. How can I migrate it lively? Uh, I may have one or many apps potentially, of course, uh, with active users. We believe that these apps are used by active users. How can I, uh, how can I move there into Couchbase? Uh, can, can I stop the users for interacting with the app? I would like to say you can't because actually, otherwise you're gonna stop your business, right? But for those of you who were struggle, or struggling with uh, this, this migration, you may also uh, think about how to transition those users between the, the Mongo Realm device uh, sync uh, app working currently on Atlas uh, and you know transition those users to Couchbase uh, without suffering, without uh, wasting uh, you know, some, some hours of, uh, of your business. Then, uh, the potentially also, uh, but this is pretty common by the way, data in MongoDB it's uh, feeding or it's currently being fed by some external system. So your data journey may come from some third party components like uh, potentially since you're serving uh, mobile users, some of that data may come from um, a CRM or from an ERP system. And so the data journey, it's uh, built upon data pipelines. And so you may have the CRM pushing data into Mongo, and then it goes to mobile in, into the hands of the mobile users through Realm and the MongoDB Atlas device sync. And so how also can you reroute or rewire that entire data strategy? This uh, is something that we would we, like to cover today. So what are we talking about? We're talking about uh, uh, the mobile component, uh, which from you know Mark's words, we will learn how basically it it, it behaves on uh, you know dealing with with MongoDB and so on. So we have the the, the Realm uh, component, which push data into MongoDB Atlas. Uh, so data is stored there in the MongoDB Atlas database, um, and data is uh store it into different collections that's the the usual common uh situation um in couchbase what are we gonna find so by comparison we're gonna find there uh in uh, in couchbase um the collections because couchbase supports collections but also it does support scopes which is an enhancing feature that you can benefit quite a lot from uh, scopes can be seen as tenants, so it's a way for providing, you know, isolated tenancy to your data without having to deploy additional databases, which is pretty helpful. Everything is then stored in uh, what 
Couchbase has identified as a, as a database, which is called a bucket, okay? Then I cover another topic, which is important. We have ways for uniquely identifying documents, uh, both from MongoDB and Couchbase. We have to understand which are, you know, the comparison here. And in terms of unique document identifiers, uh, in MongoDB, by default, you, you usually use the underscore ID uh, reserved keyword. On the other hand, in Couchbase, uh, what you have is the meta uh, ID that uniquely identifies uh, your documents there. This is important because if you're planning to migrate between MongoDB and Couchbase, you need to absolutely match your documents. So otherwise, if you're uh, feeding uh, with MongoDB data your Couchbase, you're going to uh, duplicate documents. You're going to uh, miss an update. You're going to miss a deletion. Uh, or potentially, if you're not doing upsert, uh, your your keys may, may conflict. So that would be kind of a really a disaster in terms of the, the migration journey. So take care of that, uh, that stuff. Then uh, the, let's talk about the, the tenancy, how uh, the mobile data is, is currently fed into the mobile realm uh, users' hands compared to what we have on Couchbase. So tenancy for mobile users, and by that I mean a way for tagging data that should uh, uh, reach a specific cluster of user or a specific user uh, and not you know, feeding with the, the whole database content each user. Otherwise, you're going to nuke the mobile database, but also you're going to fall into a situation where there are security implications on your data. And so in, in MongoDB, you may be used to uh, adopt what is uh, called as a, as a filtering technique uh, through the usage of uh, queryable fields. In Couchbase, then, we have another strategy which uh, is built upon channels. Channels are um, document properties, basically, that you are free to, to use. Uh, and you can tag uh, with as many channels as you require every each document. And so the SYN gateway that Mark told us, it's then basically um, specialized on uh, uh, deciding which channel, which document should be filtered for which user. So this is these are key uh, key topics to consider. In terms of uh, options, when you are migrating from a platform to another, and um, and here we're talking about uh, migrating from Atlas, MongoDB, Realm, into Couchbase, we have identified two options that are those who are really feasible. So there's the option one that we labeled as uh, cold migration, which is a strategy of basically um, making a backup and then restoring that backup on the other side on Couchbase. Of course, the, the backup and restore, it's not just uh, something that you can do with a snap. You need to, uh, you know, a, a little bit model your data accordingly. So as I said previously, introducing the, the document IDs, the channels, these are key elements that you have to consider when doing the backup and restore. Otherwise, data that you move into Couchbase is just useless. You, you cannot you cannot action actionate it it will be just a bunch of JSON uh, stored there so make sure that you plan and as mark said identify every every each element of uh, of that strategy there are pros and cons uh, regarding the the cold migration strategy so let's go over those i actually identified as um, pros uh, the fact that it is quick it is quick. It's it's a backup and restore. If you have you know scripts, if you have uh, everything in place for making sure that your data model from MongoDB goes and fits the Couchbase use case and scenario, it will be quick. Of course, with proper planning ahead, it can be scheduled. So uh, even though it will generate a lot of traffic, and for sure you know, a high, really high overhead 
at mobile app level because you are rehydrating your Couchbase data store again and again, feeding it with a backup made from MongoDB, it will be it will be okay. So you can do it. There's no nobody, you know, halting you for doing this, doing this. But it will generate a lot of lot of traffic, and you're gonna suck all the battery the battery from your mobile devices for sure. Cons. It requires a stop of all the apps and also the, the updates uh, are, are forced. So the user is uh, stopped from what he's doing and it requires to forcefully update the app because you, you cannot go back. It's, it's a one-way strategy. You, there's no way to go back. So this is something that you have to consider if you are you know, intending to, to tackle the, the process in that way. Option two, warm migration. It's basically an initial copy, like the backup and restore, but it also introduced a concept of syncing. Syncing what? Syncing data changes. It, this is a really important topic. So we can move data from Mongo, push it to Couchbase with this backup and restore, the initial copy, but then there will be a sort of a process, a script, something we're going to see that it's capable of catching the changes that are hitting the MongoDB database because it's warm, it's lively updating, it's something is, that is running in production, right? And those changes are then propagated on the other hand into Couchbase, making sure that uh, inserts, updates, and deletions are replicated on the other end. Pros, no production halt is required. So you can continue doing your business. A uh, user can hit the app as many times as they require. No issue there. Cons, syncing deltas require knowledge and skills. It's not an easy job. It requires you understand the, the way that the source database work, uh, the way that the the delta changes are generated, the way the transaction log are generated, and so on. And you need to understand how to translate those for, you know, feed then Couchbase. Bidirectional sync with conflict resolution can be painful because you need to have that component. Because if you don't, it's better that you do not go in that way. Because otherwise, keeping in sync two lively updating uh, environments can be really challenging. So which one to choose, you may ask. So the cold migration strategy, it's suitable for those uh, of you who can stop the app. It's fine. There are potentially use cases where you can do it. Why not doing it? If it's simpler, why not? If you can force the user to update the app, you need to freeze those users. You need to tell them, hey, you cannot do anything today unless you update the app. Or it's also suitable if uh, your data actually doesn't change so often. So if you have just few changes, hourly, daily, it's potentially something you can consider. I can do a backup restore. I can afford some downtime because then I will migrate entirely my app on the other end. It it is fine. There there are there is no way to tell which is the best strategy. Every use case has its own you know choice, uh, his own challenges. So that's why we are presenting you these two options. On the other end, the warm migration strategy. It, it's good and suitable for those of you who can stop the business actually. So for businesses that cannot be stopped, 24 seven businesses, uh, apps that are um, interacting with the external users which are not under your control. These are the you know cases where 99.99% you cannot stop the business. You cannot stop the app. Also, um, this uh, enables you to do something like gradually perform the, upgrade, the app upgrade, like a blue-green deployment strategy. So compared to the other uh, choice, you don't need to forcefully tell the user you have to update. 
and also this is specific specifically addressing those of you who have uh, data that really change uh, uh, with high frequency so if you are you know right now looking at that slide you may see that these words you better or the other one uh, it's more suitable for you but whatever is the choice we can help how can we help we have a platform which is called glucing and it's the platform for data migration to couchbase glucing uh, does real-time data integration uh, for rdbmss nosql and also data lakes it offers bidirectional sync between rdbmss so of course including data warehouses it's um let's say an homogeneous uh data replication between uh, rdbmss but also it does offer replication between nosql and in between rdbmss and nosql so you can do also heterogeneous data replication which is, which is challenging and we are solving that challenge uh, with 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 the support also through GlueSync, big data and data lakes, uh, data migrations and live mi and live replication, and also even streaming services like Kafka, for example, and Solas. GlueSync basically moves data in real time by implementing this CDC, which is uh, known as the Chain Data Capture Protocol. It's purely an event-based approach. A uh, migration journey to Couchbase can be seen like that. So you have MongoDB, you have Couchbase, and there's something hidden in the middle, uh, which is the middleware, GlueSync. This middleware acts as a, as a data integration layer between MongoDB and Couchbase, and it connects to MongoDB through the native SDK uh, for you know, providing you uh, the full high availability and load balancing feature that your use case requires. The same does uh, for uh, when it's time to connect to Couchbase. So through the native SDK with, again, high availability feature and load balancing. So every read and write is spread across every node that participate to the cluster, which is really, really important. Deltas from MongoDB, are then uh, catched through the um, change streams protocol, which is the way that MongoDB have uh, uh, developed and uh, have uh, and, and is providing uh, um, to developers the delta changes feed, the transaction logs basically coming from the data source, the MongoDB databases. And uh, this is available both on-prem and on Atlas. It's available by default. You don't have to install, purchase, modify anything at source, which is really paramount. It's also a, a way for uh, providing delta changes through an isolated workload. So you don't have to um, you know, provision additional resources to MongoDB for doing that job. On Couchbase, we have the uh, deltas uh, uh, through the eventing service, which is again a way for catching changes through uh, the usage of an isolated workload process. And so, even from Couchbase point of view, you don't have to provision additional uh, resources uh, if you are uh, using that uh, that specific feature. So, no changes required on MongoDB. It's fully supported off the shelf from a MongoDB standpoint, same for Couchbase. And also it helps you because uh, if you're migrating your MongoDB collections, uh, those collections are then automatically being created on Couchbase. So you don't have to care about it. It's a job that automatically GlueSync does for you. So what GlueSync guarantees, it's a smooth transition path to Couchbase for any of your use cases. Currently, GlueSync has more than 20 ready available agents. For agents, we mean the vertically integrated uh, piece of software that connects to your SQL Server, Oracle, MongoDB, that's the case. 
Transformation, data modeling, aggregation, and denormalization is built in within the platform. So no additional components are required. It's cloud native, container first, works on Kubernetes, and also uh, with Docker. It's battle tested. Uh, we have customers across the globe using it. It's really robust. And also it uh, uh, guarantees uh, a safe replication because we have implemented a built-in two phases commit approach for guarantee you that you're not losing any bit throughout the process. Some of the core features of GlueSync. Like we said, it's a safe and smooth transition path towards Couchbase, uh, natively supports Couchbase through the official, uh, official SDK. Uh, it offers so, the high availability features that you can benefit from having multiple nodes deployed for, into your Couchbase cluster and also load balancing. It's cloud native, consistency assured, uh, thanks to the fact that we have um, uh, a way for ensure you uh, business continuity through a per transaction checkpoint. So whatever happens in the middle of the replication, we can recover. A network connection failure may occur, no issue. A node may fail, no issue. The last transaction is securely stored into GlueSync. So we can resume from that point, both from a snapshot, so the backup restore point of view, but also when doing Delta changes feed. It supports bidirectional sync between Couchbase and any other source. So from MongoDB to Couchbase, you can do uh, the bidirectional sync of uh, your Delta changes. The transformation, like I said, uh, it's there. So built in with the platform, but not just a one-on-one uh, transformation. You can also uh, define custom and uh, complex JSON structures. So the uh, objects that you have there into MongoDB can be migrated entirely into Couchbase without having to code anything. It's no code approach in real time with really low latency between the two environments. GlueSync offers a web user interface where you can interact directly uh, through your web browser. Uh, it's ready off the shelf. So as I said, no code. It's uh, basically uh, your, your MongoDB to Couchbase migration. It's a couple of clicks away, let's say. Uh, it's a microservices oriented cloud native architecture built upon agents and the core hub. Core hub administer the entire platform, interacts uh, with you through the web user interface. It serves also the RESTful APIs where you can use those APIs to extend the current platform capabilities like scheduling jobs, like uh, doing some automations externally without using the, uh, the user interface or embedding the platform within your own environment. It's really easier, easy to, uh, to administer. We have a really huge lineup of uh, currently supported agents. Uh, but also we have many planned by the end of this year to be deployed and made uh, ready available in uh, uh, for you to to, to adopt. Uh, for example, as a NoSQL, uh, you can move uh, MongoDB to Couchbase, but, all, but also uh, you can cover migration uh, from DynamoDB and uh, from Azure Cosmos DB into Couchbase. Uh, we do support many RDBMSs, like for example, Oracle and Postgre, MySQL. You can have your data going there into Snowflake if needed. So there are many use cases that you can build uh, in terms of uh, data pipelines, uh, connecting countries with, between your own current uh, ecosystem, whether it's on-prem or on the cloud. Let's recap why we believe Lucene gets better. For sure, it hides the complexity of data integration. Uh, as I said, uh, implementing uh, the Delta changes, the CDC is a tough business. Uh, it's really error prone doing it by yourself and the time to market may be longer than what you expect. So you, you can trust a, a platform that is ready off the shelf. It's easy to deploy. It's one single command line for spawning a Kubernetes cluster or a Docker instance. It's really easy. And with the graphical user interface, we really streamline the uh, data pipeline creation process. 
it does an optimal uh, optimum CDC implementation, uh, guaranteeing you uh, real time high data throughput, and also comes with some unique features like the support for high availability and load balancing for NoSQL. Let's talk, Mark, uh, about the migration process. So how is it going to look like? Um, we discussed it a little bit about the context. We went through the, the use cases. Uh, we saw uh, which are the options, the, the, the cold one, the warm one. Let's let's imagine that we have you know selected the, the the warm one. So the ones that enables me to not halt my business. And so as a steps, we uh, we jot down a couple of uh, uh, important elements in in the checklist, let's say. And so at the beginning, you for sure need to connect the two instances. You're gonna need to connect and set up glossing for uh, being able to connect uh, properly to your MongoDB instance and to Couchbase. GlueSync luckily supports TLS encryption. So by issuing the PEM certificates on both sides, you are immediately able to uh, establish a secure connection between your Atlas cl uh, cluster, the Capella cluster, and GlueSync. Then it comes the time for an initial sync. Uh, the initial sync process uh, can be seen as a uh, as uh, I said uh, initially, the, the backup and restore, okay, we call it um, the snapshot. So the snapshot in GlueSync comes with a resumable feature. And so whatever happens in the middle of the migration, GlueSync is capable of resuming from the last row that has been migrated, which is really important because you're working with the cloud, network failures can occur, we need to be resilient and you don't have to start back again, especially if you have hundreds of gigabytes or terabytes of data to be moved. Um, after having done the initial sync, which by the way, uh, from a glue sync point of view, when you start it, it has already stored the checkpoint. So the, the current last transaction that has been stored into MongoDB, which is then made actionable by the live synchronization. When you turn it on by enabling it uh, through the UI, you're telling Lucing that after the initial migration uh, has been done, it has to start doing the delta changes capture. And it, it will gonna use the, uh, the last checkpoint that is stored before uh, performing the initial sync. So you're not gonna miss any change that have occurred while doing the, the initial migration, whether it can occur um, you know, in hours or in days, depending on how much data or bandwidth you have. The gradual rollout then, uh, it's the, the phase where uh, uh, you give the new app to your uh, mobile users and uh, that mobile app will then be able to seamless, seamlessly transition between the new uh, the new backend infrastructure uh, from coming from the, the MongoDB Realm uh, database, which was uh, you know rigid because it was uh, with a schema, and then the app with an update can be uh, freely uh, you know updated throughout the time with the schemaless JSON uh, built-in Couchbase-like database. Then it comes an important process, which is the monitoring and the verification. Through the GlueSync UI monitoring tools, you can verify data integrity, compare you know, the counts of items between the two ecosystems, if it's matching, if certain documents are uh, not uh, with the proper dates, because you're coming probably from an ISO and you're moving to another uh, data type, because you also can apply changes on, on that process. So you need to uh, to check also uh, the, the data integrity uh, of, of the overall data application uh, journey that your data is currently undergoing. And then it comes uh, the last step. Finally, you can decommission the MongoDB Realm instance and uh, you, you can turn it off and your apps will rely entirely on the Couchbase environment. Excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Daniele, for going through that. It's really clear, um, I think, through your detail there that GlueSync 
provides an elegant solution that serves really a vital part of the migration process. And that's moving over again, the lifeblood of the application, the data itself. So thank you so much for going through that. Thanks for um, having we all, me. We wanted to um, also point out, there are some great resources that Daniele and I have uh, assembled for you. We'll be providing uh, links in the description below. You can learn more about Couchbase and GlueSync, uh, as well as find contact info to get in touch with us and uh, engage for your migration efforts. So uh, to wrap up, you know, Couchbase has been doing mobile support for over a decade. Um, we aren't going anywhere. Um, so really, we want to compel you to make the move to a better alternative to MongoDB for your mobile applications. And uh, of course, that's Couchbase Mobile. And we here at Couchbase, as well as at Molo17, are here to help. So thanks again to Daniele for joining me today. Um, and th thanks everyone for uh, watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.